Hello, welcome to the CellPoint Identity Security Solution Show, the one place you'll get the latest and greatest on CellPoint's product portfolio. I'm James Honey, and joining me today is Eric Huckle, head of AI product. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me, James. Thanks, Eric. Um, so, Eric, there is a lot of talk around AI and machine learning, mm -hmm. and as you know, CellPoint is no stranger to AI. So today, we're going to dig a little deeper about our what we mean when we say AI driven identity security. Yeah, I'm glad to do it. It's a hot topic right now. So you know, I'm I'm spending a lot of time <laughs> explaining to my mom what's going on, but then we kind of got the technical stuff too that's really Absolutely. important to our customers and everything else. So Absolutely. Glad to talk about it. Great. So let's start with kind of a, hopefully an easy one for you. We talk a lot about built with AI mm -hmm. and machine learning at the core. What does that mean? So I think uh, for SailPoint, like you mentioned, we've been doing it for a long time. Uh, so at a high level, you know, we think about including it in all of our products from the ground up, um, even communicating to our customers, like right. things are can be easier with AI. Right. I think at a tactical level, when we talk about building in the core, um, we're talking about our data platform, putting our data in one place, and then layering on the technical architecture so we can deploy machine learning at scale. Um, so I think there's, you know, I think at its core can be maybe a marketing term sometimes, which yeah. it makes it easy to understand, but it's literally at the core of what we do here with our architecture and, you know, spend a lot of time kind of building all this stuff. So um, Mark uh, was on a podcast with Toma Bravo a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And yeah. I, I think what you <laughs> like to say is, you know, uh, the scale and complexity of companies we deal with um, you know, you need a lot of intelligence and automation to solve these problems. And that's what we're doing. And I'm kind of excited to talk about that more today. That's awesome. Always good when, you're yeah. when your CEO talks AI. <laughs> yeah, <right>. uh, so, <laughs> so with that, you know, we talk about at its core, I, I think. So how, how, how does SellPoint, how are we different at SellPoint when we approach AI? You know, what value have our customers seen from using AI and machine learning? Like I said, we, we're not new to this game. So let's talk about some value we've had, we've seen. Yeah, so I think maybe uh, the second part of that question first. Mm -hmm. So the way I kind of think about how we deliver value is uh, quicker time the value for our customers. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I think there's a, so much complexity that sometimes we think about, like, you know, we want to get everything right. And there's this, a lot of human element and it just yeah. takes longer and longer to set things up. So yeah. how can we use AI and machine learning to shorten that cycle and yeah. make sure people are seeing the value of sale point earlier. Um, productivity, I think, is really big, too. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's so much complexity. There's so many different applications being added. How do we kind of focus on that administrator or even the end user and make their day easier? Um, and then finally, I think uh, identifying managing risk. So, you know, you want to set up sale points. You want to get people the access they need quickly. But then on the other side of that, you need to make sure you know, you're protecting your company. Yeah. You can answer the, the bill for auditors and compliance yeah. folks. So uh, how do we surface uh, risk? And I think, you know, we can probably talk a little bit more detail of how yeah. we specifically do that. But um, that's how I think of, like, how our customers are seeing value from AI. Um, to your first question, though, like, how is SailPoint different? Um, you know, I, I had mentioned earlier some of our technical architecture, and I kind of look at, you know, our peers in this space. And, you know, we've spent years and years building uh, the technical architecture around our data platform um, to make our AI both scalable, mm -hmm. efficient, and solving kind of real customer problems. And I think uh, a lot of the generative AI stuff I read is it's really like high level. It's like it, you know, it's going to solve all the problems for you. Right. But uh, we just we just launched a feature um, a couple of days ago yeah. that's uh, using generative AI to write. Uh, descriptions for entitlements. And I think where, where SailPoint is really kind of leading the way here, um, we've got some great partners with AWS, Snowflake, kind of giving us this early access to this technology, but it's like we're solving very clear problems for our customers, and we want to make sure that we're not just staying high level, but focused on on delivering value. Yeah, I think that's the key, is solving problems that our customers are asking us to help them solve. For sure. Which is huge. So with that, so, you know, then the kind of shifts in that conversation because how we look at AI is foundational mm -hmm. to everything we do. So when should AI be applied in an organization's identity security journey or solution? Yeah, I think, um, you know, <laughs> when we first kind of started this journey and uh, when I got to SailPoint, it was about four years ago and we had a couple customers. Yeah. yeah. SailPoint <laughs> and AI actually was sold as a separate yeah. kind of 
like skew. Yeah. And, you know, I think you know, working with you, I think you just spoke with Andrew yes. uh, more a, a little bit ago and just like, we need to integrate those very clearly together yeah. and deliver value. And then I think because of how we sold it, I think customers initially were like, oh, we'll, we'll do AI after we've set everything up. Right. But how we really want to um, kind of set the tone is that AI data ingestion is on day one, you know? Yes. And so when we set things up, we want to make things easier for you uh, as you're getting everything set up, you know, getting to time the value quicker. Uh, and so I, there's this great uh, uh, graphic that I think Rick Wagner had put together where it's like traditional IGA is like you spend a lot of money on consultants or, yeah. you know, something setting it up. And then, you know, as you add applications or, you know, your environment gets more complex, it kind of like decays over time. Um, and so where we kind of think about it is that not only do we help you with the setup, but we are dynamically there guiding and making sure your program's healthy over the course of time and actually maybe even improving. Right. Not even maybe, we're improving it over time. Yes. <laughs> so Absolutely. so uh, I think that's kind of, you know, we're not just something that you add on at the end. We're there with you in the beginning and we're helping you throughout your time of, of you know, being in identity governance. And as things get more complex, we're kind of working with you to continue to manage that complexity. That's kind of like to think about it. And I think that's a, you know, that's a huge piece of that conversation because just understanding, because a lot of times people think, oh, AI, okay, I got to give it time to learn. I got to mm -hmm. give it time to build. But let's, let's start from the beginning. Yeah. You know, start it, start it now and not wait till later. Yeah. I think that's a big, big point. And, and part of my kind of scope is not, you know, it's, AI, but it's also our data platform. Yes, and, and so, absolutely. Yeah, and so how I think about it, it's like data is being ingested in our data platform. We're modeling it, organizing it, and then uh, you know we're layering in machine learning and AI throughout the product. Yes. And so, like when we say we're like setting this up and we want AI in early, I'm I'm talking about you know we want to help you organize your data, make it useful bringing in these different signals and helping you take action on it. And the AI component makes things a lot easier and right. a lot of those things I talked about, but even just like uh, helping you organize your data, your access is, is all tremendous. things that are really important to us. Yeah, that's yeah. tremendous. So with that, you, you've kind of talked about our data model and that foundation. So how does how does Atlas, Cell Point Atlas, uh, support that focus of our data model and our AI focus and direction? Yeah, so I think there's three mm -hmm. of the mo modules in Atlas that I think uh, you know, my team really either kind of owns or directly supports. And that's uh, the data model, uh, personalized insights and, and reporting, and then machine learning. Right. And I think almost like the last question, I was starting to answer that. But, yeah, you were. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Which is great. You know, if you almost think of it from the ground up, it's like you want to get your enterprise data model organized. So instead of a bunch of different silos where we see com some other companies kind of having your data, it's like, how do you organize it in one place? standardize it. Um, we also, you know, take a approach where we're understanding like all these different regulations around the world, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, you know, like scaling how we deliver this data. So there's just like so much complexity that happens mm -hmm. if you keep this siloed that we are putting in one place and solving problems there. And then I think the next level is the, you know, the machine learning component. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're taking all that data that we've organized, secured, make uh, com compliant with regulations around the world based on what type of customer where you're at. And, uh, you know, we're delivering kind of value right there. Right. I think that last piece of uh, personalized insights and reporting, um, we do have my sale point, which yeah. is kind of that that when you first land um, in sale point, it kind of gives you an idea of what's going on in your system, yeah. where you should take some actions. Um, but we also have Access Intelligence Center, uh, which is that little bit deeper um, integration or, or deeper look in what's going on with your yes. system. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I think how does SailPoint Atlas support our AI focus and direction? Um, you know, I think there is the the data, the machine learning, and then the visualizations. And so, yeah. you know, it's not just the AI component specifically, yeah, but yeah. a lot of different kind of ways that we're trying to, to kind of hit on that Atlas, uh, that vision. Well, and I think I think you highlighted a lot of things. It's that unified approach. Yeah, it's exactly. just bringing it all together, eliminating the silos because you can't, you're not you're not going to have a strong solution without that complete visibility, which you talked about earlier, and that complete focus, which is great. 
That's right. And, I, you know, I think is it kind of goes with uh, that original point we were talking about with, uh, you know, with Mark at setting that podcast of like, yeah. there's more complexity. So how do we kind of have, uh, yeah. you know, intelligence and automation working in there? So yeah. I think our system or I think our system is set up so that as you kind of grow and scale right. as a company and a yeah. business, there's more complexity being added to it through applications or yeah. signals like we're growing with you. So. Uh, I think that's the kind of story I, I want to get across, and it's really it's important journey. what we're doing. Yeah. It's that journey. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, which actually is perfect. It leads to kind of the last question, because, you know, you, you always are in that journey of you know where you were, you know where you're at, mm -hmm. but where are you going? So for us, you know, what are you seeing as some of the next key pieces in this in this world of data, machine learning, AI, yeah. uh, with identity security? Yeah, so, I you know, I think at the risk of kind of saying this too many times, but it's like the environment that we're operating in is getting more risky and it's also getting more complex. Like yeah. you hear about uh, cyber attacks all the time. You hear about data being kind of lost. And the other side, it's just uh, users want more applications. Yeah. They want more ways to kind of, you know, do their job easier. Yeah. And yeah. so the environment is just getting a lot more complex. Right. Um, you know, I think what we hear from our customers of where we want, where they want to see our AI features improved is around explainable AI. Yeah. So um, we kind of started that with uh, outliers and having contextual insights yeah. around that. Yeah. Um, but we're going to do more around that. And I think the generative AI story is going to fit really nicely in there. So, um, you know, I think we almost about a year ago, uh, Grady Summers had kind of sat us down and said, what are we going to do with generative AI? What what does yeah. this look like? Where should we go? Yeah. And it felt like the Wild West, you know, it was just every week there was a different update, you know, a different yeah. product. Yeah. And I feel like the team has a really good handle right now of uh, the foundation models we want to use, the customer problems awesome. we're solving. So I think where our kind of space is going for AI is uh, continuing to focus on uh, solving customer problems. And we want to make sure that that is the genesis of what we're doing. But then exploring all these new technologies that we've built our systems to incorporate. Yep. So um, we have a great uh, piece of technology from AWS called uh, Bedrock yeah. that is a managed service that we can bring mm -hmm. in different foundation models. The team has set it up so we can be flexible. Um, I ex I would expect folks to see a lot more from us from the generative AI space to solve specific problems, but also make things more explainable and easier awesome. in their day to day. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Eric. Yeah. That's great stuff. I, and I was excited about this one. This is, I'm excited about all of the episodes, but this is one I was really excited for because <laughs> I know you guys are doing great stuff. So, great. Eric, I want to thank you very much for joining yeah. us today. And I want to thank everybody for tuning in um, to learn more about Cellpoint product portfolio, all the stuff we talked about, or watch additional episodes. Join us at cellpoint.com. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.